Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. So, yeah, still doing my, you got this devotionals every day. Um, okay, where to start? Oh my goodness. So, as y'all know, I was off on Wednesday. I think I recorded Wednesday morning and then started my day. Um, I did everything from tag uh, my car. Roommate asked if I could get a truck tagged. And I did that. Uh, did a bunch of running. Um, just things I had to get done. I think Worm had a what did he have? No, he needed dog shampoo. I had to go to the pet supply place. Anyway, I made a run down to Joanne's. Um, and there's a specific reason why I did. So first off, let me back up and say that I found this pattern online. It was less than 10 bucks. Now, as y'all know, um, most patterns cost, uh, I don't know, anywhere from 20. This is a simplicity pattern. So you know, yeah, it, it's going to cost, I think they cost around $22. I was looking here. Okay. So this one is $16.95 normally, and I got it for less than $10. So, um, I decided it was time to revamp my wardrobe. I hit my two year mark and I'll show you. So for my two year anniversary, they got me this. Um, the pen is for my one year anniversary at work. And I used the first day just to make the list of stuff that I had to get done. Um, I did a couple things around the house that needed to be done. And then of course I did this. I got my oil changed, cars tagged, uh, got my contacts ordered, uh, dogs bathed, had to go get, um, anti-itch shampoo for worm. Um, then I did some stuff outside. I had to run to go get some pavers and some mulch and anyway. We'll get into that here in a second. So I found this online. Decided it was, I've been here there two years and I need to revamp my wardrobe. I'm still wearing the same clothes that I had then. I need to go through and some of them are wearing out and I need to redo. So while I was at Joann's, I found, and I'm not going to bring the whole thing over to you, but I found this fabric and it's browns and blacks and creams. And I thought, this is perfect. My intention, I got enough that I was going to make this long jacket right here. Well, when I got it home and actually started working on it, I have enough to make the pants and the short jacket. So while I was at Joann's, I also picked up some basic black that I can make another pair of pants out of. And I also picked up like a black enough to make me a form fitted shirt, not form fit, not fitted fitted, but you know what I mean? Just like a t-shirt. Um, but I'm not allowed to wear a t-shirt material to work. So I bought a, it's like a polyester rayon or with spandex. I don't know. It's just a black stretchy material. And so, um, I got that and I'm just going to do a basic black shirt. I'll have the black pants, those, uh, that pants, that jacket. And then I found this material and it was last chance material. It was super cheap. So I actually revamped this off of the pattern. I took kind of the vest and made it long like the jacket. So yeah. Um, I still have the bottom to hem. That's why it's still here on the mannequin. But for the most part, I really kind of like it. I did the sleeves and I just made a binding. Oh, I got some strings. I got it too. But I just bound off the top, bound off the sleeves, added a couple of pockets and now I just have to hem it. And it's like a purplish tie dye. It will look more than fine with black. And why do things always look better on my mannequin? 
when than what they look on me. I need a flatter stomach. Yeah, that's what I need. It's a flatter stomach. Anyway, moving on. So I got all of those things at Joann's, did all my running. Um, I did find one bonus item at Joann's. Uh, no, I didn't go looking for yarn. It just happened to be, they had these bins and this, it is super cute, super. So I don't know if you can see, but this is super peachy right there, super dark gray. And all of these are like faded. Um, so I picked up and they were on sale for five forty nine. You can see clearance, you know, oh, whatever. So I got two of those and I gave away another shawl at work, a prayer shawl for a lady who is retiring. So I'm running low on shawls. So I basically don't, don't pay attention to my start there, but, um, I basically started a new, uh, prayer shawl. These virus shawls work up super quick. I can do it in the evening. This is a mindless knit for me. I know people have said, Oh, that looks so complicated. Nope. This one's mindless for me. So, yep. And it's working out pretty cute. It in this light, unfortunately, you can't see that this is like a pale pink and then it goes gray. And then this is a peachy color. Um, so yeah, it's, and I'm getting ready to hit the really peachy color right there. So I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, got two skeins. I'll make a good size shawl and it cost me 11 bucks. So yeah, did that. Um, then I also went and picked up the pavers and with all of the, uh, oh, excuse me, rain that we've ha been having, the chairs for the set that we have out, that we sit outside, there's a table and four chairs, and they've all sunk down to the ground. The mulch is all, was all nasty. So on Wednesday, I stopped and picked up pavers, just those ugly 12 by 12 pavers, got those put one under each leg of each chair and table. And then I grabbed some extra mulch while I was there and remulched the whole thing. And it looks really much nicer than it did. Um, the other side I've sprayed for weeds, but I haven't put any mulch down. I think if I was to put fresh mulch, it would definitely help, but I wore my butt out that day. Um, I did so much and the heat around here is so bad. So, um, matter of fact, tonight I'm going to Sam's to pick up about four cases of different kinds of Gatorade and that. Um, and then I'm going to ship two or three to the farm and keep one here for me and Rooney. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to look, I like the Propel better than I like the Gatorade, but it, it is what it is. Um, I think the Gatorade might provide a little more um, hydration at times. So I figured I'd get an orange, a grape, a Hawaiian punch, get those three and something else if they have it. Um, but I, then I'm going to mix and make variety packs with them. So I'm going to pop them all open that way. Not one person's not getting all one kind and all another. So, mm -hmm. but I have to do that tonight because I just ran out of time Wednesday. I had so much going on. And then this weekend, um, was taken up by, uh, the first day roommate, so the second day roommate had to go help mom. Um, roommate takes very good care of mom. And, uh, so that took all day. So Saturday we were bound to turn, we get that stove in. Now we're slower than most. Okay. I get it. But the wiring in the kitchen, um, was not the hood was spliced in incorrectly. Anyway, when all that came down, the hood was wired incorrectly to new reset, a new receptacle behind the stove. Um, 
the others were all checked. The only thing that we have left to do, and that is there's a plug-in behind the refrigerator, but we're not going to redo that plug-in until we pull it out, and then I have to do that backsplash stuff um, behind the refrigerator as well. So, um, yeah, we have not gotten... We just got the section where the stove is and got the stove in. It is gas and it has been switched to gas and it puts out more of a radiant heat. So that would be nice in the winter. Um, I've cooked on it twice. I've used the oven once. I haven't used the broil yet. Um, I've cooked twice on it. I'll just take you in there and show you how good it looks. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, so here we are back in the kitchen. Let me take this off and check this out so the stove is installed it is gas i've cooked on it twice um the hood is now uh what do you call it wired correctly and then let's see if i can get a good picture of this we got all new um receptacles and there's one over there behind the coffee pot i don't know if you can see it but receptacle new switch all of the wiring stuff is new so yeah and of course the stove the new refrigerator will get here um i think july 1st or something and so we'll have that and uh, this is gas range is a broiler down at the bottom oven part and then of course i love the grill in the center so yeah it's finally in and everything is wired correctly that's that's the thing every time you start one of these projects you get into more um issues than you know you know what i mean but the backsplash is all new the wall is all done and all this is done so it's a good thing okay so yeah the new little um, receptacle things that we got have a fuse in the center so that if anything does happen, they'll it pops and you can't use it. Um, it's really looking good in there. Let me tell you, nice to have the uh, kitchen back though. We went about two weeks just using a little griddle. Um, but the thing is, is that it's a gas stove, so we have propane, so we had to switch it from gas to propane. Then, of course, we ran into the issues behind the wall with wooden paneling being back there, and then the wiring for the uh, hood had to be redone. Um, just every time we got one step closer, we took a step back, too. So, yeah, it's all done, though. And yesterday, which was Sunday... I spent the entire day cleaning. Um, roommate went to mom's and I did everything, everyone's laundry, the dog's blankets, roommate's stuff, my stuff. I did like eight loads. <laughs> so um, the other thing that roommate and I discussed is in 100 degree heat and I'm running that dryer. I really think like we need a clothesline. It just doesn't make sense not to have one. Oh, sorry. So maybe that's our next project. I don't know. Roommate can weld, so maybe make a couple of teas and just get me two or three lines in there. I don't know. But uh, yeah. So it's been a super productive week. Um, like I said, yesterday I spent so much time getting the kitchen back together so that we could actually use it. Um, we cooked breakfast in there, but I still had tools and everything <sighs> all over. And then um, yesterday I made me some mac and cheese. Uh, and that was it. That's all we've done. It's been too hot to eat. Um, like I said, I'm going to Sam's to get Gatorade for RJ. Uh, after this week, um, just so you know, coming up, I have the 4th, 5th, the 6th and the 7th are weekend 
and then I have the eighth off as well. So I've got five days off. I've got a long weekend, which I'm okay with that. Not this coming weekend, but the following weekend. So yeah. And I started one other thing this week that I found online and I'm going to attempt to see how much I can save and then I might get the kids one of these, maybe Macy. Um, but I started there's my thank you thing. But I found this and it's the hundred envelope savings challenge. So there's no timeline on this. Um I did get everything put in here. I have decided on which uh cards I'm going to pay off, which cards I'm going to, which none of mine are high. I just have decided I'm going to keep one for emergency and I want to get it paid off, not use it. And then, um, I have the little, like this one's got a hundred dollars on it. Um, at the time I had a vet bill I needed to pay. Then I've got, uh, my Sam's that has a little bit on it and my upgrade. And those are the ones that I plan on paying off. I will keep one functioning. Um, but anyway, so it has a hundred of these little pockets and each week you stick in whatever you can afford. So if you're having a good week, you can stick up to a hundred dollar bill. And I got news for you. I'm not counting out $99. So I probably will put a hundred dollar bill in some of these nineties too. So I'll probably have a little bit extra, but, um, I just take out and whatever I had in my wallet at the end of the week, that's what I put in there. So when I got this, I just wanted to put something in it and I had $2 in my wallet. So I put two $1, $2 in here. And then last week I ended and it, I had a 10 in there. So I put a 10. So I've been doing this, um, one week really but I got two weeks in it because I got it like Wednesday. No, Thursday. Yeah, no, Wednesday. It was supposed to come Thursday. I think it came Wednesday because I came back from town getting everything and I found it. And so Wednesday I sat and I put all the stickers on and, and what you do is you, you mark off the days. I'm not going to mark off the days or anything, but when you get done, you have over $5,000 and in your hidey hole. So, um, I'm thinking I need to get the kids one of these. It's got lots of pockets and that kind of stuff, you know, but I don't know. It's got the little pen flap here. It's got a pen flap here. It's got two. I, I'm not real sure why, but it does. Um, so I'm going to see how much, but it's a, it's a hundred envelope savings challenge and you don't have to put a timeline. I am trying to do it once a week, put something in here. Um, it'll take me two years to have that $5,000. Okay. That $5,000 will pay off everything that I owe right now, you know, so I'm also working to pay everything off. So I'm trying to save and pay things off. So, like I said, I've got a couple of cards. Most of mine come. So, the upgrade card um, came when RJ got stuck in Kansas and I had to pay two grand to get him and the trailer towed back to the house. Um, and that happened right after he'd had it out of the mechanic shop and then it just died on him and he couldn't get it going again. Uh, had it towed had a mechanic come out and get it going again. Um, so anyway, I need $2,000 to get him home. And he spent two nights in a hotel up there, you know, and couldn't get home. So I told him to find a tow truck in those two days. Um, he tried to find a mechanic. He tried to find, he actually tried to purchase another truck while he was there, you know, and that didn't work. And so, because I wasn't there to sign, if I'd have been there to sign, it would have worked, but couldn't do it on his own. Um, and that's because he day works. So he doesn't have a job that they can just call and verify. 
Um, anyway, so when all that happened, I got the upgrade card. It has, you know, a couple thousand dollars credit on it. I paid his towing bill and I'm still paying on that. Now I pay way over. I will say this and I don't endorse it, but the upgrade card, you actually make installment payments. Um, and they, they don't just take a little bit they want a full payment and it would pay off in three years but I'm a year in and I'm over half paid off um, it just came at a time when I needed it and so that's how those developed um, I originally only had one paid it off the end of the month you know but then things happen the farm needs things um, it just is so it's life my goal however is to get those paid off and then get a rainy day fund saved. And I do have a little bit of a savings account, but it doesn't have far near enough in it. And then when I get done doing that, I'm going to take it and deposit my savings and just keep growing my savings that way. Now that'll accomplish two things for me. So this is kind of a, like a twofold thing that I'm thinking. If I get halfway through that and something happens, I have cash on hand to take care of whatever it is. Hence, I won't charge it to my card. So that will allow me to not only save, but it will allow me access to it, have it here at the house, not just in the bank, get my savings. And the problem with the savings is then I have to transfer it and blah, blah, blah. And I don't have direct access to it, which is great help when you're trying to save. Um, but it kind of puts you in a bind on a weekend when a truck breaks down or blows a tire or, you know, those kind of things. So, um, it is what it is, but I'm thinking I'm going to get the kids one of those, um, for their wedding and let them kind of save and have a rainy day fund as well. And like I said, you can save as little as a dollar all the way up to $100. Um, but if you do it at least the number in the pocket and i think the concept is you're supposed to save one dollar then two dollars then three dollars then four i'm not going in order um and that's why so when it comes um you have to put the stickers on yourself so like the first pocket you put the number one on and then you put what dollar value you put in there I just did all of mine in order. I want them all, and then I'll jump around with the money. See? But you're supposed to do it in order, like each pocket, and I'm like, yeah, no. Nope. <laughs> and then you can see which pockets you've used up, and blah, blah, blah. yeah, no. When the pockets are full, I'm done. <laughs> and then I'll start it all over again. So, all right, that's where I'm at in my life right now. There are some projects going on, and... Oh, the jumper. So I made the jumper. It's still sitting over there. It does not fit my rear end. I'm very disappointed. I don't have enough material to really redo the pants. So I'm going to have to find a way to modify the pants. Yeah. And I'm not liking what I'm coming up with. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, I'm off here. Got to get ready for work. I will talk to y'all next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.